Before people can get a vaccine, it has to be studied and tested. Yeah, it usually takes about 10 years to go from the first work that you start doing in a lab through to the point where you have a product approved by the FDA. Meet Sam, he covers healthcare. The rigor of that process is what gives or should give people confidence in the vaccines that their doctors prescribe. Uh, and it is the way that we attack viruses in this country and worldwide. New diseases require new vaccines. You need to come up with a new one and start from scratch every time, uh, or very close to every time. But the, the research and development process is extremely intensive. It takes many years. It takes usually hundreds of millions of dollars. In the US, once scientists have finally created a new vaccine in a lab, they start testing it. They go into animal testing, and then drug companies ask the FDA for approval to begin trials in humans. And that is a three-phase process. These are called clinical trials. Phase one starts with just a couple dozen people. It's really just sort of a, a proof of concept phase. Does this vaccine get where we think it needs to go in the body? Does it basically seem to be doing the things that, that we expected it to do? And does it basically seem safe? Phase two is a little bigger. The main thing that you're trying to answer in phase two is, is it safe to continue with this? Is this product, you know, is it ethical for us to continue down this road or are we putting people in greater harm with this product. And then there's phase three. It's the last phase of human trials, and it is by far the biggest. Here, thousands of people, ideally across many demographics, are given a vaccine, and thousands more are given a placebo. And that phase is the final phase before submitting something to the FDA for actual approval. It's where you figure out the vaccine is X percent effective, or it seems to work better or worse in this particular group of people, everything like that. It's also the phase where any adverse or delayed effects typically become apparent. If there are issues about safety after approval, people can file a report with VAERS, a system from the CDC and FDA that keeps track of any new or unusual reactions. The clinical trial process is pretty much the same for any drug, but getting vaccines through that process has its own challenges. So when you think about a drug company trying to come up with a drug that treats X or Y condition, they come up with it, then find people with that condition, give it to them, see if it treats it. With a vaccine, uh, everything sort of is, is upside down. You're trying to prevent infection, so you have to come up with it, give it to people, and then see if they get sick. This means healthy people have to be exposed to the disease to see if the vaccine works. Developing a COVID-19 vaccine, a race happening in record time. An astounding achievement, all this happening in less than a year. The first COVID-19 vaccine candidates moved through clinical trials faster than any other vaccine in history. The previous speed record was four years. This got done in less than one year. Uh, it's just astounding. Part of that's because researchers didn't have to wait for an outbreak to test them. But that's not the only reason. These kinds of vaccines were being studied for decades before the COVID-19 pandemic hit. And when it did, Collaboration between governments and their agencies, industry, scientists, NGOs, and the general public kept the research and development moving quickly. But that doesn't mean researchers have been cutting corners. This process has been faster than usual. It has not been abridged in terms of what the companies have to show. These are pretty normal, standard, rigorous clinical trials. They've just moved faster than we've ever seen before. Vaccines are thoroughly tested. This is a very rigorous process with a huge number of speed bumps, checks and balances, and oversight built in. Here's a recap. New vaccines are made for each new disease. Each of those goes through a rigorous testing process, and they're typically tested when there's an outbreak. But testing vaccines is really just the beginning. 